and welcome to worship for Sunday, uh, November the 13th, 2022 from Trinity United Church in Winnipeg. We are grateful you have found your way here, whether you're listening on the phone or you're on a tablet or your phone or, or perhaps your computer at home, on the bus, at work, uh, whether you're resting at night or first thing in the morning, we're glad that you have made it to this place to worship with us today. Trinity United Church acknowledges the Anishinaabe, the Cree, the Oji Cree and Dakota peoples, and the Métis Nation as the traditional custodians of this land. These are the lands that we live and worship, learn and work on. In all we do, we pay our respects to elders, past, present and emerging. Just have one little announcement before we uh, go into worship, and that is about the psalm study that is being led by Reverend Paul Campbell. And last week we were unable to do it, but this week it's great. We've got uh, uh, double the double the fun, uh, double the amount of stuff that's going on, and Paul will present that uh, immediately following worship, and we invite all to come and be a part of that. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a time of um, connecting those songs to our daily lives, trying to look at some of the challenges, the comforts, the mysteries, all of the things that the psalms represent and how we can integrate that into our faith and life. Paul is a great study leader and we look forward to his time here. So we share this light from our Christ candle to the affirming candle. And we are reminded that this light does not diminish, but increases our understanding of God, our increases our understanding of the light of Christ being with us, increases our understanding of how humanity is and is created by, beloved by, warmly welcomed by, all of us here and by God. We call ourselves to worship today with more voices one, let us build a house. Stranger, 
bear the image of God's face. Let us bring an end to fear and danger. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where all are need their songs and visions heard, and loved and treasured, taught and words within the word, built of tears and cries and laughter, prayers of faith and songs of grace. Let this house proclaim from floor to rafter, all are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. You might have noticed on the communion table here that we do have the chalice and the cup. We have our grapes and we have a piece of bread because we are doing communion today. And if you'd like to get something to drink, a glass of water or juice, if you have a grape or another piece of fruit, a cracker or a piece of bread, something to eat. So you may celebrate with us while you are at home and we are here. There are some uh, responses, but I will be saying them, and I invite you, if they're on the screen, to go ahead and say them along with me. And if not, to listen and to hear the words of uh, the reflection, the words that connect the scripture that you'll be hearing with our faith, with our lives, as we, um, as we take part in this communion liturgy. God is with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift our hearts to God. Let's give thanks to God. It's always good to give thanks and praise to God. We are grateful, God, that you have been with us throughout the ages. As the seasons turn, as the years passed, we are aware of time moving on. As elders die and babies are born, we are aware of our ancestors and the promise of new life. As the earth changes and we watch how our actions affect the world and the earth, we are aware of the infinite beauty that is yours. Sometimes it can feel discouraging and sad, and we're uncertain what the future holds for us and generations to come. Yet through it all, you are the one constant, the one we can rely on to be there. Your unconditional love is what stays with us through all our experiences. And we are grateful that you never give up on us, that you are ever patient and kind, teaching us your ways, that you never leave us, even when everything feels as though it's falling apart. We have learned from our ancestors and listened to their stories for guidance and hope. And scripture today is read by Beth Anderson. Scripture is our song for the journey, the living word passed on from generation to generation to guide and inspire. This reading is from the Good News Bible, Luke chapter 21, verses 5 to 19. Jesus speaks of the destruction of the temple. Some of the disciples were talking about the temple, how beautiful it looked with its fine stones and the gifts offered to God. Jesus said, All this you see, the time will come when not a single stone here will be left in its place. Everyone will be thrown down. 
Teacher, they asked, when will this be? And what will happen in order to show that the time has come for it to take place? Jesus said, be on guard, don't be deceived. Many men claiming to speak for me will come and say, I am he, and the time has come. But don't follow them. Don't be afraid when you hear of wars and revolutions. Such things must happen first, but they do not mean that the end is near. He went on to say, countries will fight each other, kingdoms will attack one another. There will be terrible earthquakes, famines, and plagues everywhere. There will be strange and terrifying things coming from the sky. Before all these things take place, however, you will be arrested and persecuted. You will be handed over to be tried in synagogues and be put in prison. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my sake. This will be your chance to tell the good news. Make up your minds beforehand not to worry about how you will defend yourselves, because I will give you such words and wisdom that none of your enemies will be able to refute or contradict what you say. You will be handed over by your parents, your brothers, your relatives, and your friends, and some of you will be put to death. Everyone will hate you because of me, but not a single hair from your heads will be lost. Stand firm, and you will save yourselves. May God bless to our understanding this reading from the Holy Scripture. People were worried in biblical times, too. They had lived through wars and conflict, exile and persecution, and they needed to be reminded of your promise. And so you sent Jesus, your child, to live in their world. As he grew and lived, he heard the stories from the past and learned the history of his people. Jesus' parents took him to the synagogue to hear scriptures, the stories of his ancestors. He spent time with Mary and learned the way, uh, the way women were treated and the relationships they formed. He wandered with Joseph, hearing stories of battles, journeys, and friendships. They taught Jesus well, and he learned about your promise of love that he was always with them. As he grew, he understood better about human interactions and how to relate to others. He learned, too, about the difficulties of life and how important it was to rely on you. Whenever we hear Jesus tell a story, we, too, too learn more about life, about moving through hard times, and about celebrating with joy. And with this joy in our hearts, we can't help but sing out our praise. More Voices 203, Holy, Holy, Holy.
We breathe deeply. We feel your amazing spirit in our heart, in our lives, and the world. Trinity is grateful for every gift offered and say thank you no matter what gift is given. We are grateful. Holy God, we can hardly imagine what it would be like to be persecuted for our faith, to have to worship in secrecy for fear of being discovered, to know we couldn't pray or act in your name. We know what it's like to experience hard times in our lives and world, but to have to hide our faith is unimaginable. We pray for those who are needing your healing touch, those who are suffering in hospital from COVID or other illnesses, those who feel alone and lost, those who are afraid of going outside, those who are struggling with relationships, those who are the target of prejudice and stereotyping, those who have lost hope. We pray for those who celebrate with family and friends, for new life born among us, for those who journey to be with loved ones, and all those named and unnamed who we hold close in our hearts. We are proud to tell the story of your child, Jesus, we are brave to talk about his birth in a stable, his life among ordinary people, and his ministry with his disciples. When the time is, feels right, we courageously relate his story to ours, making the connections, remembering the images that he used, taking strength from every time he teaches us about your unconditional love. We are proud to remember his life and his teachings. Whenever we are together at a time like this, around a table to share a meal, we know why he asked us to remember, in particular, the story of when he gathered his friends around a table for a meal. Jesus knew his followers needed something ordinary, that they could do every single day. So during the meal, Jesus took a piece of bread. He gave thanks to you, and then he broke it. And he shared it with his friends. And he said, whenever you do this, remember me. And after supper, he took a cup. He gave thanks to you and poured it. And then he shared it with his friends, and he said, whenever you do this, remember me. Holy God, we ask for your blessing on these gifts and on us, that we may be empowered to share your love with all we meet. May this bread and this cup give us the strength and courage to share your story and your love with all we meet. We know you hold our prayers, spoken and unspoken, in your powerful love as we say the words taught to us by Jesus and remembered through the years. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to take your piece of cracker or bread or whatever it is that you have to eat and place it in your hand.
taking a deep breath, we surround that morsel with God's light and love. We take it and eat it, and we say, this is the bread of life, and we all say, Amen. And I invite you to take your grape, your glass of juice or water, your piece of fruit, to place it in your hand, to take a deep breath, to surround it with God's light and love. This is the cup of life, and we all say, Amen. We pray together. May this bread and cup and this community of faith make us brave, courageous, spirit-filled people who are not afraid of sharing your love. May we remember through this meal that you hold us, body and soul, and even the hairs on our head, in your love forever. And may this inspire us to let go of our fear and bravely be your people in our world. Amen. We'll sing together more voices 88 over my head. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. When the storms of life are raging, I hear music in the air. When the storms of life are raging, I hear music in the air. When the storms of life are raging, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere Over my head I hear music in the air Over my head I hear music in the air Over my head I hear music in the air There must be a God somewhere when the winds of strife are blowing, I hear music in the air. When the winds of strife are blowing, I hear music in the air. When the winds of strife are blowing, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head. I hear music in the air Over my head I hear music in the air There must be a God somewhere When the tide of hate is rising I hear music in the air When the tide of hate is rising I hear music in the air When the tide of hate is rising I hear music in the air there must be a God somewhere Over my head I hear music in the air Over my head I hear music in the air Over my head I hear music in the air There must be a God somewhere King Jesus is calling Hear music in the air. King Jesus is calling. I hear music in the air. Oh, King Jesus is calling. I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, 
I hear music in the air over my head. I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. When everything seems bleak and hopeless, when all we hear is sad news, when we are afraid of even poking our noses out the door, we need to remember that God is with us and we gain strength and courage, way enough strength and courage to be brave people of God in our world. And now may the grace of God and the love of Jesus and the power of that Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us now and always. Amen.